In order to fix this issue, the maximum number of tokens has been changed to 1 billion. So, uh, let's check the official notes, and then we'll check out the new items. February 10th. A new chapter has been added to the Vrages Vrages Resurgence. Monthly ROEs have been swapped out, so that's the deeds, which is great. Uh, more deeds. We're, we're coming soon to the, um, we're coming soon to the second year of deeds. And so they're going to be giving us the third year objective soon. I'm really curious what they decide to do for the third year. Ambu has undergone the following additions and adjustments. The foes are normal and intense have been swapped out. Yes, normal. So these are these are a whole new mob type. Well, they're not mob type. They're they're new to Ambu. Uh, so that'll be fun trying this new battle. New foes have been added to Shale, Jail, and Odyssey. Defeating these foes. Ooh, look at that. It's a dark uh the dark chimera. What is that? Can we zoom in on this a little? Looks pretty vicious. I think I had a cat that looked like that once. Requ requirements for participation. Must have completed Shale C uh, ROE. Be in a party whose members all have three or more jobs at level 99 and all participating players must have non-duplicate jobs. Oh, wait, that's a requirement for participating in the, with the new foes? I know that was, um, uh, anyway, let's keep reading here. Be in possession of a Moglophone 2 key item. It just says one Moglophone 2, not three. Have defeated all monsters in atonements 1 and 2. Okay, all right, I gotta finish that then. Augmenting equipment. Purchased equipment may be augmented using RP earned by defeating the appropriate monster at vengeance plus one or higher we already know this so so basically they're just repeating basically what they what they did for one and two which is good we got new mobs uh i don't know anything about them yet other than i guess it's wild keeper reeves only the leader has to have cleared one and two that's good because that's what two was you you didn't have to have cleared one in order to for a leader to bring you in on two which is good so some of us could potentially save ki if uh if somebody wants to lead a wants to lead a fight New items have been added. Gladys Boots, a footwear item added this update, only has its pet level plus one effect apply when the player has an item level weapon equipped in their main hand. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the winning entry from the Shield Design Contest 2020 has been added as a login reward, of course. Dude, when when you looked, if anybody here checked out the, the, the finalists for this shield, this Aroha shield, like, stood out amongst the crowd. I've got at least one lock style that'll that'll use this effectively. Link Shell Concierge has undergone an overhaul. We knew this was coming and these are all good as far as I can tell. Basically you couldn't pull your pearls off the concierge. You had to wait for a maintenance in order for them to go away if nobody took them. So they updated that so they just stay. This should make recruiting a lot easier for um, people who who are looking to recruit. The issue with Nizal Isle wherein tokens would fail to be earned thus slash held in the proper amounts. Um, in order to fix this issue, the maximum number of tokens has been changed to 1 billion. That is the most spaghetti code statement I have ever read, but to fix their problem, they changed the amount you can hold to 1 billion. All right, moving on. Various issues with incorrect dialogue and help text. Cool. On to the gear, the part we've all been waiting for, or at least I have. I'm, I'm anxious. I'm anxious. Who knows? Who knows what they gave us? Oh, it's, it's Wild Keeper Reeves stuff, but upgraded. All right, here we go. So, um, um, Umbathi cap or something like that. Wasn't that the name of this one? Uh, Black Mage Scholar Geo Rune Fencer. SIRD Magic Burst Damage Fast Cast. Uh, okay, does this stuff augment? So the fact that it has Magic Damage plus 20, MAB plus 35, and Magic Burst Damage plus seven probably makes it a contender for uh, for like Geo's Magic Burst set if you don't have Ia. Bunzi's hat. White Mage, Red Mage, Bard, Summoner. Um, DT minus seven, fast cast plus 10. Uh, this might be, this might make it into some fast cast sets. I don't know. We'll see what the augments are. Bunzi's set replaces in Yanga. Wow. It's a whole set. Okay. Let's just keep moving on then. Thief, beast, dragoon, blue dancer. Okay. So the Gledi's set is going to be what, uh, what I'll probably have my eye on. Lower Mava than Malignance, but it has PDL, 
regain, crit rate, PDT. I'll have to see the augments to tell you if this any is any good. Ikenga's hat, Ranger and Corsair. New snapshot piece? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I may not be shooting in malignants for mid, mid shot anymore. <laughs> Even before augments, this is definitely better than uh, malignants. Look at that, enmity minus seven as well. Oh yeah. This is actually really interesting. Okay, has enmity minus on all pieces. That's that's awesome. All right, here we go. Monk, Sam, Nin, Pup. Uh, TP bonus plus 200? Crit rate, triple attack? This hat, this ha helmet is 100% best in slot for something that Monk does. I don't know about Sam so much. Sakpata's helm. Fast cast plus eight. Okay, warrior, paladin, dark. Fast cast. Ooh, ooh. A Mava set. A Mava DT set. Oh, man. Dude, this is like Malignants for Warrior. PDL, DT, Mava, double attack. This this is 100% the Malignants for Warrior. At least this helmet is. Paladin as well, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's really strong, yeah. All right, now we're on to body pieces. Historically, body pieces have been where the best stats have... Um, have lied. Agwu's robe. Oh! <laughs> it's basically... It takes care... Oh wait, no. I was gonna say this This replaces um, Shamash robe, but Shamash actually has more resist silence. <laughs> but this has refresh plus three. This is like a mini Shamash robe. Okay. I was gonna say, you've nullified my Shamash robe, but no. Oh, actually, some jobs can't even wear this. Rune Fencer? What the heck? I guess they want us to have lunge pieces. Bunzi's robe, cure pot, DT minus 10. That one's interesting. White mage, red mage, bard, summoner. Why do they have the pet, the pet stats? I guess they want you to be idling while your pet is attacking. You have a good idle piece at the same time. It, get, it lets avatars get TP while idling as well. That was my thought. Your idle set with your avatar also has your pet stats. Now here we go. Of course, the set that's closest to my heart. My dagger DDs, let's see what we get. Uh, PDL 9 is a lot of PDL, but you're contending with a, a tough slot here. Waltz Potency plus 10. Don't really need that. Not for Dancer, at least. Regain plus 3. Critical... This is this is a whole other Malignant set with lower Mava. Every piece has Regain, another idle piece. Yeah, I would probably get the set just for the Regain. This is a really interesting piece for... For Thief, almost? With AM3 up in capped buff situations? I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about this one. And we're gonna have to see what the augments are. Ikenga's vest, ranger slash core. Here's that snapshot STP piece, PDL. Yeah, yeah, this is strong. Enmity minus 10, this is strong. This is definitely your mid shot piece. I mean, I'd have to compare, of course, but like, there's a lot going on here. It might even be your pre-shot pieces for, for some. But the fact that you get PDL on top of enmity, and you have all the STP you need. That's that's pretty strong. Mpaka's doublet. This is the monk one. Okay. Triple attack, crit rate, PDT. We're just, we're really getting the hybrid sets we all wanted for all the different jobs. You're basically going to be looking at malignants versus whatever else these things offer. This will also give you a much tankier weapon skill set. That's one thing to note. And I haven't quite said anything about in some of these, some of these pieces is if they are even close to being good for their respective weapon skills, for example, the Gladys Curse, if this is good in um, your Evisceration set because of the 8% crit rate, then you're also throwing 9 PDT into your Evisceration set. So it's going to be important to look at these for, for that purpose. This might just be better for Evisceration all around because you're getting PDL on top of crit rate, on top of now PDT to make a safer set. So this may be best in slot for evisceration. I'll have to look at my sets before I can safely say. All right, Sakpatas. This is the Mava set for Warrior. What are we getting? A huge bunch of Mava. 8% double attack. Potency received plus 10. DT minus 10. This set is an absolute home run. Just from what I've seen from the two pieces. I can't imagine not wearing this on Warrior. This body piece 100% is my full-time body piece, I, I believe. Oh yeah, this this puts a big RIP on the uh, the Windy Volt set. Honestly, looking at this set, this may elevate Warrior to the top of the DD meta. You guys, segment farming is not that bad. Get some friends together, 
go kill some mobs. It's not that bad. I'm, I'm looking at you, Barstool Pigeon. <laughs> All right, Agu's Gages. Uh, once again, the Geo Rune set, Magic Burst Damage, Fast Cast. Uh, yeah, I don't really know where this set is going to fit. Uh, Bunzi's Gloves, DT and Double Attack. Whoa, what the heck? Uh, I wasn't considering Bard for this set, I don't think. But holy smokes. What is Cashew using his Bard set for gloves? Oh, I have the Gazoo bracelets on. Yeah, I might swap my Gazoos out for these if I can f make up the accuracy in other places. So here's the Thief Dancer set. Uh, regain gloves, PDL, crit rate, PDT. This one I'm gonna, this is a hard sell for me. I might want to get this just to get the regain. That's it. The Ranger Core gloves. Once again, it offers everything you're going to want. Uh, this is great. Mpaka's gloves. This is the monk set. Once again, you get triple attack plus three, crit rate plus five. This set's insane. PDT minus eight. Ooh, automaton weapon skill damage plus 10%. That's a hidden stat here. This, this is an amazing piece. I think I think monk is making out like a bandit here. Sam doesn't care so much about the triple attack like in their weapon skills. Yeah, exactly. So it's not, it's not the best hybrid. Like monk gets malignance for their hybrid, but... In weapon skill. In weapon skill, I think, is where these Mpakas might shine. We'll see. The warrior set, once again, what do we have? Mava 112, double attack plus six. Uh, Suluvia's is what? Double attack plus seven? Sulevia is double attack six. Mava 37, DT minus five. This is a very strong replacement. All right, Bunzies, SIRD, 150 Mava. I believe that's the highest that the white mage gets. That's a super strong bard, uh, bard idol piece. All right, here we go. Thief and Dancer, PDL, Sick and Ready Ability Delay minus five. Beastmasters, rejoice! I feel like I'm just making a safe evisceration set with these with these Gladys pieces. All right, Ikengas, uh, once again out of the park shooting set. Empaka's hose, triple attack, subtle blow two. That's nice. Congra congratulations, Monk Sam Nin Pup. You have the third piece of subtle blow two gear in the game. Here's the war set. Oh, Phalanx plus five. <laughs> Oh, this is not on Rune, Rune Fencer, no! <laughs> Double attack 7 versus the 11 on AF pants. You probably still use these. Huge Mava, DT minus 9, PDL. I mean, wow, this set is ridiculous. Agus Pagashes. Magic defense bonus, haste, MBD, fast cast, resist silence. Bunzies, here's the bard piece again. DT, Mava. Like, I just have to have these for Kashi's bard. He, his idol set is not very good. When, um... When Malignance came out, I remember saying like, people were like, why isn't Bard on this? And I'm like, well, honestly, if this, if Bard were on the Malignance set, they would never take it off. It would be your TP piece, it would be your idol piece, and that would be the end of it. But the Bunzi's Sabbats are fine idol pieces with one or two of them being okay in your TP set. And lastly, the feet, once again, a safe evisceration set. So that's the Gladys boots. I'm not super impressed with those, but I'll probably find a use for them. Hangas, clogs. Here's the mid shot set once again. PDL, STP, snapshot, enmity, not much more to say. Uh, and Paka's boots, triple attack, crit rate, PDT, once again. Monk is the winner. And lastly, Sakpata's leggings is the warrior Mava set. PDL, double attack. It's a little low, the DA, but you're making up for it with your Mava. Wait, there's weapons too? Wait a second. Uh, these are, this has got to be Odyssey. This is too normal. Of, this is too normal of a weapon. There's no gimmick. Store TP plus 10, weapon skill damage plus five, pet stuff. This is 100% a pet master hybrid weapon, similar to the Getty set. So they gave it to us. We asked for it. They gave it to us. This will allow Beast to uh, to do both. Not super well because it doesn't like multi-attack or anything. Oh, Agbu's Claymore. Double attack, skill chain bonus. This better have a funky augment on it. Otherwise, it's a rather useless weapon. Yep, I don't understand this weapon at all. It looks like a bad Ambu weapon. The Agbu's Claymore. Agbu's Scythe. Dark only. Soul Eater plus 20. Stalwart Soul plus 30. I don't know this doesn't look very impressive either unless the augments on these have to be have to be interesting for these weapons to matter oh i see bunzi's chopper so they are you're right they're based on the uh they're based on the names okay all right warrior gets a new great axe with dt retaliation stp uh bunzi's rod cure pot plus 30 mbd plus 10 mbd plus mab is pretty strong this may be the new magic burst uh weapon for for geo all right here we go gladys a new ranger crossbow Oh, goody. Crit rate, weapon skill damage, STP plus five. Agility 15? Okay. Um, I'd say this is the new poor man's um, true flight piece, maybe? Oh, a new dagger. Here we go. It's okay. Ooh. Oh. This is an insane offhand 
for evisceration on Torret. So normally with Torret, I offhand Twashtar for the uh, dex plus 50, but uh, delay 200 is really big, isn't it? Yeah, it's 24 more delay than Twashtar. The best CDC offhand, I can see that. The Waltz Potency is, is pointless. I don't know why they're giving us little bits of Waltz Potency. Like, Potency isn't the problem on Waltz. Yeah, I would I would offhand this for Evisceration on Torret. I would um I would take off my Twashtar for once in my life. Ikenga's Axe. Warrior slash Beast, one-handed axe. Crit rate plus 10, weapon skill damage plus 5. N no. You have to do a lot to beat Decimation on Ambu Axe or give me a good offhand for Farsha, which this is mediocre. Ikenga's Lance, Dragoon, Triple Attack plus 5, DT minus 5, Wyvern Breath Attacks plus 10. I don't know, maybe a, maybe a new Dragoon would want this, but a new Dragoon is not going to be beating this content. This one, this one says to me, it's, it's in the same field of the other earlier weapons where if the augments are interesting, this is good, maybe, but it's as uh, for face value, it's not. Uh, let's see. Magic burst damage plus 10, skill chain bonus plus 5, weapon skill damage plus 10, store TP. They don't, they don't know what to do with ninja. They do not know what to do with ninja. So they're like, we'll just give them everything. And hope it's good <laughs> I, I don't know Mpaka's bow barrage plus two that's kind of cool stp plus five true shot plus five recycle plus ten um at face value this is actually kind of an interesting bow if bow weapon skills weren't bad the recycle plus ten matters Mpaka's staff let's see what we got here refresh two fast cast five mbd two refresh two in the weapon slot on a staff this might find use Pata's Fists. This is the Monk and Pup weapon. STP plus 10. 10% weapon skill damage. 5% automaton. Uh, oh, wait, no, wait. No, weapon skill damage plus 5. Cure plus 10. Kind of buns. This is basically a bad Ionic. And here we go. Sword. I think we're at the last of the, the stuff here. Paladin. Does Paladin want this? DT minus 10. Probably not. Okay. So that's it. That's it for the new items added with Odyssey. Overall thoughts. The, uh, the Warrior definitely has a, a great set for both hybrid and idle and it's just overpowered i think monk is the clear winner out of the monk nin uh sam set i think that they're going to be incorporating those pieces into a lot of their various weapon skills and and idle sets and possibly tp sets it's going to be weird because they already have kenda and malignants monk is rather spoiled in the past year thief and dancer set probably evisceration uh safe evisceration set which i kind of like uh we also get a good evisceration dagger with the offhand bard has a great idle set now too overall Impressions are pretty good. Um, it's gonna take a lot more time and a lot more mathing to really get down to what's what's relevant. Augments, augments are gonna change some things too. So anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, we're closing up this recording and I'll see you on YouTube. Peace.